And then they basically said, do you want to go to space? Seven, six. Intense moments. Five. And that's pretty cool. Four. Immediately, I said yes. Three. Yes, absolutely. Two. It's that life-changing yes moment. One, zero. I've been a space and uh, an aviation enthusiast since as long as I can remember. When I was in kindergarten, I remember looking at picture books of uh, the space shuttle. I told my kindergarten teacher that someday I'm going to go to space. She told me she'd be watching in her, in her rocking chair at some point. It's just all the emotion and excitement's coming out. You have those, you know, intense moments where some of the things that you've only seen or on TV or from videos or from movies um, to see behind the scenes, having those opportunities to see them in person, uh, those were just some incredible, overwhelming moments that we've gotten to experience together. So I actually got to visit NASA in Houston a few months before I was diagnosed with cancer. And whenever I got to see where the astronauts trained, like, of course I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, but then a few months later, I was diagnosed with cancer and it really changed my whole world. And ever since I was treated at St. Jude, I've wanted to grow up and work at St. Jude. I got a phone call pretty much out of the blue in early January and, um, it was from St. Jude, and they told me the background of the mission. And then they basically said, do you want to go to space? And immediately, I said yes. The realization that it's setting in, that this is real, that I, instead of that no call, I got the yes. And it's that life-changing yes moment, um, something that I have wanted my entire life. 